When we first started the project, we had all these questions because we've never actually seen anything like this before, done anything like this before. Just the nature of the film to get your head around what you're animating. Every frame is essentially a layout for more animation. Yeah, and it's funny because I didn't even think the movie would work beyond a still drawing. Once you get them moving, I thought, well, this could get really confusing. It's one of these things, it's very hard to explain simply in words. It's a very, it's a weird concept for a short film. Day and Night is two opposite characters who meet. They are actually drawn in two dimensions, in 2D animation. And within them, you can see a three-dimensional world that reflects the emotions of those hand-drawn characters. So night would have a moon, where day would have a sun, day would have a rainbow, night would have fireworks. At first, they don't accept or like the differences in each other, and they end up wrestling and fighting, and you end up seeing all that's going on inside their head, like a lighthouse or fireflies or jets. I'm not sure if that quite makes sense. When I was pitching day and night, I wanted to kind of really sell the idea in 3D. So we made a test, and it was the first thing I showed John that morning. And I didn't even finish the story pitch. Right in the middle of the pitch, he said, well, I guess this is the one we're going to put at the top of Toy Story 3. Yeah.